So I've turned the alpaca and the lambs out into this small orchard. And I'm gonna use the new gate or the new very old gate because I can swing it now. We still don't have a post to lock it on yet. I'll be getting that at some stage, but I'll be able to swing this gate open because it's heel stone should be sound. So, let's see. Those are very solidly in. And there's this stake here to hold it in place. I'll pull that up. In place there. And there's this stake holding it closed and up. This is my fence post stake. Uh, it's got a pointy on the other end and I use it when I'm hammering down a uh, fence post. See, there we go. You can see the pointy end. So, and the new gate swings open. You can see the height it is. This downhill slope is quite a slope. Ah, curious alpaca. So the gate, you can see how steep this hill is because the gate was only about an inch, inch and a half up off the ground. So the fall of the hill. Now, I'm gonna need two hands to open all this out for the horses for the time being. I'm gonna leave that because that's gonna take two people. It's a big old heavy old gate and it can now go to somewhere else. Its elegance can be put somewhere else. So I'm gonna let the, when I let the horses, I'll video letting the horses out through the new gate. But you can see it's a very steep little hill just from the height, the level of the gate. Hello. She's curious. She wants to know what's going on. Hello. So I've left that gate up because I can't move it on my own. It's too heavy. I mean, I've moved it on my own, but move it away on my own is too heavy. Um, and I'm gonna have to put a stake there for when I close the new gate. But um, I'm very pleased with this whole appearance of the new gate and it will make it so that in the winter we only cut up one area of the land when the horses are galloping in and out rather than what used to happen is opening that gate they this whole area would get completely um, torn up with the horses galloping now they only have this laneway with the future kind of hedgerow of spindle, rowan, and uh, gilder rose and walnut trees. So all very wildlife friendly and it'll make life much easier and much nicer. It'll be nicer to look at too, because it's nicer to see a field that's not cut up like that than one that would be. Now the horses are going to be very keen to get out because the rain has cleared away and it was very mucky. Uh, That's one gate moved. Hey girly pearlies. How are you girly pearlies? Brindle, Brindle. <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on, old man. Come on. 
Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. See, I don't want the other horses to come down. Marco Polo, come on. Go on. Good boy. Come on. Attaboy, come on. Good boy. Inca, leave it. Brindle. Oh, the excitement. Brindle, come back. Brindle, Brindle. And now I close my new rescued gate. Maya, 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 Brindle, come here. Maya, Maya, come on, come here. Miss Daisy Rose has lost no time in finding the juicy bit of grass that was left when um, there was this area we fenced off for the gate, putting the gate up. So she's having a lovely time of eating this fresh grass. Whoop! Brindle! The horses are all feeling lovely. Brindle! Inca, leave the horses alone. They're feeling feisty. Brindle, Brindle. Inca, come here. Come on. <laughs> feisty. Brindle, Brindle. Good girl. Out in the sunshine after all the rain we've had. Okay. Now, I have to tie this shut for the moment until we get a stake to go right here to bolt the gate. So good old fashioned baling twine is gonna do the job. <laughs>